Hey guys, uh, Knifey Buckeye here uh, with another video. Today, huge news in MLS. Um, I just got out of work, so um, I had time to sit down and make a video. MLS back July 8th um, tournament in uh, the wide world of sports and Disney. Uh, a place I've been to before. Uh, I was younger. I don't. I think I was early junior high, late elementary school on family vacation one year. Um, it was a nice place then. I would imagine it's probably bigger now. I don't remember them even having soccer fields when I was there. Uh, obviously, they do now. They're going to be going to the Wide World Disney um, in Orlando. They're going to play, uh, stay in hotels. The whole league is. Um, they're going to play July 8th to, I believe, August 11th. Um, they're going to have East, West. It's interesting because they moved Nashville to the East. Um, they said it's for low, uh, regional, but I don't understand because they're all in Orlando. Region should not matter. Um, I thought that odd, although most people are expecting Nashville to move to the East next season uh, when Austin and um, I believe it's just Austin next year that joins the league. Um, but that's next year. Um, June 8th, or July 8th to August 11th, uh, they're going to have a, a group stage. Like, the, If anyone's um, familiar with the World Cup, it's pretty much like the World Cup. They're going to have a group stage and then a quarterfinal, semifinal, final. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Um, since FC Cincinnati started in 2016, um, it's been, what, four years now? Soccer has probably become my most favorite sport. In 2015, I didn't follow the sport. But because of this Cincinnati, um, that's probably now my favorite sport. And that's Cincinnati probably is my number one team I'm most passionate about. Um, several things for Cincinnati. Um, is, does Jop Stom, the new manager, is he able to come in and manage? And is Georgian Lacadia, um, his loan, I believe, ends June 30th. So it'll, it would have expired. It's going to expire before this tournament starts. I've seen pictures of him on Twitter um, at training. Some with the mask, some not with the mask. So he, I know he's been there training still. He's under loan. And then, because there's it, there's several factors. The Premier League is starting up soon. And I don't know, I'm not familiar where um, the Premier League team he plays for, I don't know where they're on the standings, if they're competitive, if they're fighting for rele relegation. Um, but they're probably going to play a congested schedule. Uh, over in Europe so um, they're going to need bodies uh, so I could see them calling up Georgian Licati now it's going to be up to does can FCC sweeten the deal and, and sign him I mean he's only played two games he has a track record of being really good uh, if you just look at his quality it's, it's a vast improvement of, of what we've had even though he's only played one game or two games, but he scored a goal. Um, so he, it's a, it's a small sample size, but I do believe they should resign him um, because he has looked good in even his uh, short stint. So yeah, those those two th things are. It's going to be interesting to see uh, Jopstam come back. Now at this point, if he if he if he uh, lands here in Cincinnati today, um, I think it's already too late for him to really implement any kind of thing. But like I said, the reason he's coming here is because he already fits the style of play that we're already playing right now, Dutch style. So, um, the system's already there. So him implementing whatever, now he's probably going to implement his own nuances and stuff, but um, he's already too late for him to really make an impact as far as implementing whatever nuances he has, but I still want to see him physically there, physically on the sidelines, now that we have our own, our new manager. Um, so yeah, that's huge. Um, and like I said, uh, we had a slow start last year in expansion. We looked better to start this year. Uh, maybe a random tournament, um, uh, the unknown of a random tournament might spark something and we could win. Um, it's just nice to actually have the thought that four weeks from now, I could be sitting at home watching an FCC game that has not happened in three months now so that's very exciting um, 
So big news. I haven't fully sat down and thought all the details. Those are the details that I've that I've seen through skimming through um, social media. Uh, if I have any other thoughts about uh, once I look more into what's going on further, I might make another video um, later tonight. Uh, but that's it. That's all I wanted to say in this video. Um, MLS back uh, July 8th. Uh, Wide World of Disney in Orlando. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.